The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone, wanted to show you the heat index first of all for what it feels like outside. Roanoke feels like 82, the humidity is pretty low so there's not much to deal with here. But same thing in Virginia Beach, it's not feeling a whole lot hotter than what the actual temperature is out there. DC is noticing a little bit more heat index, but as you go further towards the south and west, the heat is not quite as extreme as what we've seen in the past few days. And most of us are staying pretty dry, but to switch this back over to our national radar, there's not a whole lot going on with watches and warnings right this minute because most of the storm systems on the eastern side of the country are staying rather calm. But looking a little bit further towards the west, there's still heat advisories, still excessive heat warnings through parts of Mississippi into Louisiana and especially Texas also dealing with a lot of heat on the western side of the country. So it has not gone away quite yet. And as we go into the next couple of days, our temperatures are going to heat up, but it's not going to be quite as bad as it is further towards the west. Today, our humidity is not particularly pronounced, but it's still more humid than it's going to be over the next couple of days. Friday and Saturday, those uh, moisture levels drop even further. So we're looking at some pretty comfortable days there. Our temperatures actually take a little bit of a dip too. So most of us are going to be more in the mid to upper 80s than close towards that 90 mark. Sundays when things start to turn around, that's when temperatures are going to really start to climb up and shower chances come back in. For the next couple of days, we've got some low pressure high up in the atmosphere, which is helping to bring some cooler air our direction. But as that switches out with higher pressure, which will help to keep the clouds away, it's going to bring a lot more heat our way and that's going to push those temperatures further and further into the 90s. Technically, as we get into next week, there are some shower chances that we could even get some rumbles of thunder, but as the more recent information has been coming in, it just doesn't look like there's a lot that's actually going to support development. So we end up staying pretty consistently dry for a lot of next week. And because of that, the temperatures really climb up. Looks like Monday and Tuesday of next week are the particularly hot days, with Rona getting up towards 97 and Lynchburg and Southside both at 95. Tuesday, a lot of our temperatures are in the low to mid 90s yet again. So that heat isn't going anywhere as for the first part of the week. Try to enjoy the more mild temperatures that we've got today, putting Roanoke at 89, Alta Vista at 86 and Hot Springs at 77. Overnight, we fall back down into the 60s, but staying a little bit warmer than we did yesterday. With Phil at 61, Blacksburg at 62 and Alta Vista at 66. So not as many 50s as what we were seeing earlier this morning. On the extended forecast, temperatures are going to be pretty consistently in the mid 80s for Friday and Saturday. But remember, Sunday is when we start to heat up. That's when we get into the low 90s and we're going to stay there pretty consistently for Monday and Tuesday in the mid to upper 90s. I think Monday gives us a chance of some temperatures even approaching the 100 mark. A couple shower chances here and there. Again, it's just not looking super impressive. Storm chances aren't looking great, but with temperatures that warm, we could get some rumbles of thunder. After that, we do get a little bit of cooler air for Wednesday. Hopefully that sticks around going into the end of the week. You know, it's bad when you hear cooler air and the high is 93. Yeah, it really you know just goes hot. to show. <laughs> cooler air, just, you know, a warm 93. I definitely remember some of those like first weeks of school mm -hmm. being like so hot and it's like, is summer really over? Cause yeah. it certainly doesn't feel like I it. I know you feel like it should be and then it's like, nope, sure not. Yeah, this is definitely one of those weeks <laughs> for us. All right, thank you, Marshall.